Hey everyone, so today I'm going to talk about my July favorites. Um, now before I get started, I just wanted to um, explain why I had been away for such a long time. Um, basically, I just got really busy with medical school and I just decided to take a break from the rest of my life basically until, um, um, until you know, school got under control, um, which it has. And also, my old computer had such a crappy video, ca video camera that um, uh, people had a very hard time hearing my voice um, in my old videos and a lot of people also mentioned this really annoying scratchy noise in my old videos so I decided to take a break until I got a new computer which I did last week I bought my first Mac computer ever and it was the it's the MacBook Pro um, I'm actually still in the process of getting being converted from a lifetime UC or PC uh, user to a Mac book user and um, hopefully the video making process will be a lot smoother on here um, and hopefully you know you guys can hear me better too but um, okay so let's get started with my favorite uh, skincare products now the first one I want to talk about I've been using since um, uh, probably sometime in March or uh, the end of February and it's a whitening serum by the French brand called Paul and Jill. Um, I'm sure some of you guys have heard this on YouTube already. It's a very popular product, especially among the Asian population. Um, it's a very, very effective and potent uh, whitening serum. Um, I've been used, before I started using this, I, you know, I had to use foundation um, you know, anytime I put on makeup because I felt like I just didn't feel confident about my, about the texture, or not the texture, the tone of my skin. Um, I had some, you know, hyperpigmentation marks from, you know, previous pimples or just, you know, skin irritations and, you know, I just felt like I, my skin wasn't even, my skin tone wasn't even a, enough for me to go barefaced. So, um, ever since I started using this, I you know I started to notice a drastic improvement in the in the overall um, tone of my skin. Um, I'm actually not wearing any foundation right now. Um, I'm only wearing concealer in my under eye area, as you can see. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah. But this is the first time in like years that I um, I you know that I don't need to wear foundation. I'm very very happy. Um, I can't explain to you guys how excited I am about you know just having even skin tone. Just because I feel like ever since I went through puberty, um, those annoying breakouts. You know, like anytime one pimple healed, I would always get another one or have another one brewing somewhere. And I just felt like I was never confident about this the tone of my. Um, or my overall complexion, but thanks to the serum, um, I can actually walk out of the house without wearing foundation. So, um, like I said, I've been using this for a few months, and I'm very, very pleased with this result. It has not given me any breakouts. I wear this um, after I apply this to my face after I wash my face morning and night. Now, some people only use this at night, um, so I think it's a personal preference kind of thing, but. Um, um, I'm actually running out of this bottle. I already purchased a backup from dermstore.com. Um, and if you look around online, you can usually look, you can usually find a 15% uh, coupon code. Um, so, oh, and this, the price of this um, product, uh, I think it's around $45 or 40 something. So it's a little pricey, but if you can find a, a nice um, a discount, I say it's worth it. Um, I don't have a whole lot of money. I'm I'm like a poor medical student, but you know I will splurge just on this, just because you know how effective it's been on my skin. So um, I also have a lot of freckles on my face. I don't know if you guys can tell, but because of this product, I've also noticed that my freckles have started to fade away, and I'm just very happy with this. I can't say enough good things about this. So definitely a favorite. Now. Um, Let's see. So the next product I want to talk about is actually a sunscreen. So in my old, um, or in what is it called, my daily uh, daytime skincare routine pro uh, video that I posted a few months ago, I raved about this sunscreen by Shiseido called the Ultimate Sun Protection Lotion um, in SPF 60 PA++++. And I had, um, I had used this for about a year and a half to two years, and I really liked it, except that I just... Lately, I got really annoyed at, at this um, 
distinct odor, not odor, but like scent. Um, it doesn't smell bad, but it just smells very strong, like perfumey smell. And I don't really like my face products to have any sort of smell, to be honest, because to me, you know, any sort of fragrance is just... It just to me it means extra chemicals put into my facial product and I you know I want my facial products to you know to contain as little artificial like unnecessary chemicals as possible so I decided to try something else um, and also the fact that this is a, a, a chemical sunscreen kind of turned me off because it you know um, I had to reapply this every few hours, which I never did because, you know, I didn't want to make mess up my makeup. Um, and I just left this greasy film. And um, so I decided to try something different, um, possibly a physical sunblock. Um, now, just briefly, the difference between physical sunblock and chemical sunblock is that chemical sunblock, the way they work um, is they actually... Okay, let me, let me think about this. So what happens is... Your, after you apply the um, the chemical sunblock to your face, the, the active ingredients in here gets absorbed into, into your skin, so into your epithelial cells, into the dermal layer of your skin. And the way they um, block out sun rays is actually um, when, so when you get exposed to, you know, UV, UVA rays or UV lights, whatever, um, the active ingredients react to the sunlight and as a result they can inactivate the harmful um, basically effects of the sun ray so um, but in order for it to work it has to be absorbed into your skin first and um, because that's a necessary step a lot of people you know with acne problems have um, I guess they have an adverse reaction to chemical sunscreens. So a lot of people with sensitive skin can't wear uh, physical or chemical sunscreens for that very reason. Um, so the alternative is um, a physical sunscreen. And the, uh, the way they work is that um, by they actually don't get absorbed into your skin. They just sit on top of your skin. Um, so they form this layer of film on your skin that physically blocks out sun rays. And that's why they're called physical sunscreens. So, um, um, and because of the, the, the way they work, um, as long as your face doesn't sweat a whole lot, you don't have to re reapply a physical sunscreen every so often, um, like every two hours, like you do, you have to for physical or chemical sunscreens. But the downfall is um, because of the, the, their, the titanium dioxide and the zinc oxide, I'll, I'll, most, um, if not all, physical sunscreens form this like ghostly white cast on your face a lot that a lot of girls, you know, um, don't like, um, and you know, especially when you take like pictures with flash on, um, it's very noticeable. So a lot of people don't like that. Um, so I was looking around on Amazon and I found this uh, specific brand called Skin Suticles, um, and um, I think so. This is a product. And oops, sorry. It's called the Sheer Physical UV Defense SPF 50, and so this is um, a physical sunblock. Um, but according to the website, it didn't. It does not like form this white cast on your skin. So because it's supposed to be sheer and for delicate care of your skin, because it's a physical sunblock. Um, it, but it also offers broad spectrum UVA, UVB sunscreen. So with transparent titanium dioxide and zinc oxide on here. So, you know, as I said earlier, those are the two uh, main active ingredients of physical sunblocks. So I've been using this for the past um, two weeks, I think, and I have not had any problems with skin breakouts. Um, and when I put this on, I just, it feels so much better on my skin. I feel like it dries up, like, almost immediately. And I feel like my skin can, can still, like, breathe, I guess, um, as, a, as compared to this one. Um, you know, after I put this on, I just feel like I have this, like, layer of grease on my face, which was just such a turn off. So, um, I've been liking this a lot, and, um, you can get this from Amazon.com. So, the next one, um, okay, so let's move on to makeup products. So, um, when I was at the mall last week, I think, or maybe two weeks ago, I went to the L'Occitane store. Um, so that's a very popular French brand, I think, but it's very, um, they're very famous for their hair products, like shampoos and stuff, and also skincare products, especially among um, Asian women. Um, but actually, 
saw something um, that wasn't either of those. Um, it was an eyeshadow palette. Um, so it's, it looks like this, um, and it's called Petal Eyes Quartlet. Um, so I when I opened this, I was just so like mesmerized by how beautiful these shades are. I just feel like these make the perfect like summer um, summer eyeshadows. Um, you know, you can play this up and use the deep violet color for like a dramatic evening look or you can just use the first three colors for like a neutral daytime look so this is um the first shade so and this is the second one oops i just dropped something can you see can you see i'm really bad with this swatching and this is the pink one which looks really pink but once you put it on your eyelid there it is um it's very shut us uh, shut subtle and um just very pretty so and this is the dark purple one i'm gonna put it on here so um the texture is very creamy and very smooth very um the eyeshadows are very finely milled so um definitely a favorite i've been using this um quite often um in the past month so Definitely a favorite. Now, the last two products I wanted to talk about are um, lip products by Dior. So the first one is called uh, Lip Glow um, Color Reviver Reviver Balm. So it looks like this. So the way this works is that it's actually a lip balm, um, and it's supposed to be very moisturizing, which it really definitely is. So you apply to your lips, and if you wait a few seconds, you'll see that your lips turn into this beautiful like shade um, and it, I think the, sh the color the specific shade is specific to the person so, um, so I'm actually wearing it right now as you can see um, it turning to this like beautiful fuchsia bright vibrant like glow um, that looks like it's almost from within so it's not actually lipstick but you know it's a very uh, vibrant color which I just think is really cool you know because this is just a lip balm but you know it turns your lips to this color so um, I've been wearing this a lot. Um, when you apply just a little bit, it makes your lips look, you know, vi uh, not as vibrant, I guess. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's the color is buildable, and I'm actually wearing a lot of it. That's why my lips are so bright, but you don't have to wear this much, um, so and your color wouldn't be as intense. So the last one um, is by, it's also by Dior. It's the it's their lipstick, the Dior Addict, in the color 343. So it's this beautiful sheer coral color lipstick, um, but it has, some, it has some shimmer in it. Um, it looks like this. So I just, I think it's like the perfect shade for summer. It's very light um, and it's coral, um, which is one of my favorite shades right now. So yeah, definitely a favorite of mine. Oh, and I actually forgot to mention this other product. Um, and it's um, it's like a blusher by Benefit. It's their sugar balm. So it's like a mixture of different color shades, and they're all very shimmery. So what you want to do is just grab a big powder brush and just swirl it in the box, and then apply it to your cheeks or you know all over your face for a glow. But um, here, let me just do a a swatch. So the reason I love this is because the color is so sheer but it's um it's buildable and so you can't really see it so i have to apply another layer but um it just creates this beautiful glow from within like um that doesn't look over overly done um and i've been wearing this every single day can you guys see that was a terrible drop i'm sorry <laughs> let me do this again but yeah it's it's um it makes this like pink coral shimmery color I just think it's here it's right here in the middle of my hand so oops I am so bad at showing my swatches on camera but can you guys see it's a little shimmery and I just I love it so much I'm actually wearing it today on my cheeks as you guys can see but um yeah so this is definitely a favorite product of mine I've been using this every single day well you know on the days that I wear makeup but um definitely definitely a favorite um it's the the sugar balm
by benefit. So that concludes my monthly favorite video for the month of July. And I hope you guys um, enjoyed my, watching my video. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or um, shoot me a message on, um, on YouTube. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.